before you start, here's everything you'll need to install the chimney. So you find us now inside the tent that we've put up and here's Simon explaining where we're going to put the stove. Okay, um, we've got a scary job in hand. We need to get this bad boy up there, which is quite scary. So first, we need to decide where we're going to put it. So first things first, we decided near the entrance for a couple of reasons. Number one, you can empty the ashtray quite easily that way. Number two, if there is an emergency, or we do have any problems, say getting a bit of smoke out of it, we can easily open the doors to ventilate the tent. Um, some people do do little cheats, like open a window and shove it out for a window. We're not going for that, we're gonna do it properly. So, to decide how far away from the canvas it is, we've gone for 45 centimeters. Um, we're just over that actually, about 47 centimeters. But 45 centimeters would say is a good minimum to set yourself, as you can see, it's on the heat mat to keep it nice and safe. And we put two bits of the flume up here. And what we're going to do is line these up further up. And that's where our flashing kit is going to be installed. It's a 45 degree flashing kit with a silicone which can, which can take extra heat. So this is perfect because it's not going to transfer the heat from that to that to that. So that's going to be sitting like so. Luckily enough, a bird has come along a little bit earlier and marked out the spot where we're going to cut this hole. I've now taken the flashing kit apart. This bit is going to be on the outside, and so is this bit. What's going to be on the inside is this bit here. So just taking apart those bolts. This is going to be what we use to line up where we're going to do our cut. Okay. So you see that blue line there? That's where we're going to cut. Been pre-marked for us by the birds. Okay, let's go for the first cut. We're just going to start a cut here with this standing knife just so then we can get the scissors in. Oh, this is such a scary feeling. <laughs> There's a hole in the tent. Oh, I do not like this at all. Okay, this is probably the most scary thing I've ever done. Whew, okay. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Everything's going to be fine. I hope so, unless you've got to be good at stitching. <laughs> Because you'll have to repair this. <laughs> you think about these things, you buy these tents, you spend a lot of money on them, and then you take to it with a knife. Not the most sensible thing, but hey, you've got to do what you've got to do. Just wait till we're toasty warm. I'm looking forward to that, and a nice cup of tea. <laughs> okay. Right, it's a bit hard now, I lost a bit of tension here. And um, the reason we're doing it from the inside is so you're not leaning over and you have a lot more of a better work area. So I'm just cut it into these quarters first, which will then mean I can get the scissors on board and we can cut it accurately. There we go. So just like so. As you can see, we have a hole. It does show though how um, how good quality this canvas is. But We've had this tent now for about it's about four or five years. The only problem we had is once we tried to clean it and it just didn't work. So we're going to do an article on that soon. Or, to be honest, we might consider buying another one. Yeah, we do love it. This one has served its purpose really, really well. finished hole and now we're going to mark up where to put the holes. We're not professional tent fitters, this is us doing it DIY at home. So just like you, we've got as much experience but we're learning on the job and we hope it helps you. So just mark out the holes. This is easier as well if you've got two people to hold it and mark it but we are doing okay like this. It's just the skill of having a steady hand and some patience. Okay, there's the holes marked out. As they say in Only Fools and Horses, lovely jubbly. So we're now at the second bit, we need to put the holes. So we're just going to pierce it because it's canvas. 
just a little, little pierce. Okay, we're now going to try and get this on there. It's going to take a little bit of jiggery pokery, so bear with me. You can now see I've got them all in through the holes, a little bit of jiggering about, and we're going to put the plate on on the inside. So they're all through. You get the plate on, and you get a nice. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to get a nice snug fit. It really is easier with two people. Can you pass me a bolt? I can do that. Perfect. That's the first one. I did a bit loose at first. And there we have it. Job done. Fitted flushing kit. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of tidying up around there. But apart from that, good to go. We'll get this stove piped through. We've made it this far. The chimney is now on the inside. This is the first one that pokes out through the new um, flashing kit that we've got. We're just gonna put the final elements on the chimney and finish it off. Wow. There you have it. Completed chimney. We've got the chimney going up through the roof there, the flume itself coming down here, and then a lovely warm stove. Well, not warm yet, but it will be one day. And all set up, ready to go. The only last little finishing touch we need to do is put the glass in the door there, and then we are all set. Thank you very much for watching. Hope we've helped you out.